Okay, this is our second video on advanced Parises de Fer. On today's menu is the Petit Envelopement. And this is a really silly movement. It's flashy, it looks cool. There's not a whole lot of martial logic behind it. It's just something that it, it just looks really neat. And it can kind of tell a little bit of the story if it's done correctly. Uh, and it, it, it introduces a concept where one of the actor combatants is really doing all of the work to make the other actor combatant look really good. And this is a long story tradition in stage combat, particularly in Hollywood film combat sequences, going back to the great uh, legends of sword fighting, Errol Flynn and Basil Rathbone. And Errol Flynn, of course, was this famous actor who played the heroes in all of these swashbuckling films. Basil Rathbone, on the other hand, was a famous competitive fencer who then became an actor. And Basil Rathbone and Errol Flynn worked together quite a bit. Basil Rathbone also worked on a lot of other movies. But Basil Rathbone was always the villain. And his job was to make the hero look really good. So the hero could just stick their sword out there and Basil Rathbone would do all of these things with the blade to make it look like the attacker was really doing a lot of work there because Basil Rathbone was the more experienced swords person, knew what they were doing. So that's the idea behind this petit envelopment. So first, let's look at what a regular envelopment is and why it doesn't really make a lot of sense for small sword, and that's why we do the petit version of it. So once again, I'm going to bring Dante up here. Okay, so there's two different types of envelopments, but basically an envelopment is when you pair a bind through with a bind over, and you take the opponent's blade through all four lines of attack. So for instance, we could start here, right foot forward, Dante attacks my right shoulder, and I carry three here. I might start with a bind through, where I bring his blade down to my left hip, and then I could finish with a bind over, where I bring his blade back over, back to where we started. Now again, there's no real reason to do that in a sword fight, um, but it's something that we can do. It looks rather flashy, and if we're moving at the time, so go on here and attack here, and then we pass as we go through, and then we pass as we go through again, it can look like I'm working to control the blade when all they're doing is just kind of sticking their, their sword out there. Um, and we can also do it from a low line to a high line. So he attacks here, and then I can start with a bind over, and then we can do a bind through and end up back where we started. Now, this doesn't really make a lot of sense for small sword, though, because, again, it's not a cutting weapon. Uh, this type of movement, this full envelopment, uh, would really be more appropriate for single rapier, where there's the option of doing cutting attacks. For small sword, what we're going to do is a very small version of it. So if Dante attacks me here, instead of doing a full bind through, followed by a bind over, we're just going to do all of that in a very small movement right here around my hand. So instead of going all the way around my body, I'm just bringing Dante's weapon around my hand. And this might look familiar. It looks an awful lot like Dante is doing a bunch of doubles. And I'm just doing these full counter parries to try and catch his weapon. But really, I'm doing all the work, and Dante is just sticking his blade out there, and I am doing these petit envelopments as if I am trying to catch his blade, and then when I finally stop, oh, I can act as if, oh, I finally caught it. He was so good, uh, but I finally overcame it and was able to, uh, to change the direction of the fight. We can do this with footwork. So Dante can go back, yep, a little farther. Okay, and Dante cuts or thrusts there, and I parry, and Dante passes forward as I start the petit envelopment, and there I catch it, and then I can end with a croisse, or I can otherwise expel the blade. So come back here. Okay, I'm doing these petit envelopments here, and I can just expel it off if I wanted to do something else. Um, but that is the basic idea of a petit envelopment. Thank you so much, Dante. And all I need you to show me is very, very simple. Just show me a parry three right here and then give me a bunch of counter parries. And then you can also do it with parry four, where it's just this petite envelopment. You're just bringing that weapon all the way around the wrist. It's very similar to, to the defensive movement that you would use to counteract a double. And that's the goal. We're trying to make it look like our partner is doing a bunch of doubles, and we are having to work to catch up to them, to gain purchase on their blade, to control it and change the direction of the fight. And that is the basics behind a petit envelopment.
think we are almost done, if not totally done with the curriculum and should be able to move into assessment choreography very soon. I'll see you then.